desplazamiento y tipo de demás y ver a los alumnos ilusionados pues es lo que todo profesor busca. Telefónica lo está haciendo muy bien y creo que es una apuesta de futuro. be a sustainable classroom with a, a, a few, uh, sl with a, a less uh, with a little amount of electricity the recipients of this project are people that need a, ch a wheelchair we want to accomplish we want to help our uh, uh, partner that has a visual condition We've had problems to overcome synchronous uh, conditions in the beginning. We thought that it was going to be very boring. We we're, ver we're having a very good time. It has been really fun. We have had a very good time. The ones that didn't know anything to, to uh, the fact of understanding just a single light has been incredible. This this is a prototype. I don't know. In our high school, we learned a lot about the challenge. So the sound is not good in the booth. From the video, I mean. It's very gratifying, in reality, this. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to this uh, STEM challenge. First national uh, intra-school quiz of uh, robotics in program um, programming. The, well, the goal is to make everything fit, to do it differently to what we are used to. Doesn't can anybody tell me what what is this? The Rubik's cube. Since Rubik invented it in 1976, uh, there has uh, there have been uh, more than 350 million units sold all over the world. I tried to solve it, and I was never able to do that until I discovered that the key was to make everything uh, sensible. Oh. Today we are at this final to speak about a project that is uh, this uh, challenge that speaks about education, uh, work, te uh, teamwork, uh, what we, we know as uh, science, technology, engineering, and maths, and especially about a challenge, a challenge to believe, to overcome, to grow, and everything has a name that you already know. STEM challenge. Without further delay, I would like to thank Telefonica for uh, this kind of project. It's an initiative that uh, not only this initiative, but also these awards that um, are, are an award for, uh, for passion, for work, for programming, for robotics. Uh, this, is, this has been my life. And I can only tell you that we're going to welcome all the people that are watching us through, uh, through the streaming, through uh, desafiostem.com and Fundación Telefónica. Hello, this is for you too. And without further delay, I would like to uh, welcome our first guest. Our first guest is the uh, manager of education area of Fundación Telefónica and has always been one of the juries of uh, STEM Challenge. So a big round of applause for Alejandro Díaz Larreta. My pleasure.
Well, welcome you all. I won't uh, be a magician too, so uh, uh, congratulations because uh, I'm, I'm impressed. But I'm impressed too for what I've seen. I would like to welcome you all to this uh, uh, Fundación Telefónica Space, as you all know, um, is, uh, tackles the social and cultural action of Telefónica. And within this action, the two main axes or action axes are employability and education. And in education from uh, Fundación Telefónica, we defend the need of a shift, of a transformation. Why? Because technology has uh, arrived uh, suddenly to the society has changed dramatically the way we relate, relate to, to each other and we think that education must be ready because it must be useful for the students to be able to make decisions on their own to tackle the problems on their own in a different world within all this we are uh, seeing a phenomenon that is the phenomenon of uh, creation of different job positions all over the world and Europe related to technology and at the same time it seems that there's a next stagnation in the number of students that want to devote their time to this uh, kind of tasks and this gap is the one that we're trying to, to to cover with these kind of projects. Projects where we want to, to thank uh, Telefónica Educación Digital, uh, this uh, project of uh, Fundación Telefónica without Telefónica Educación Digital, that's another part of Telefónica, wouldn't have been possible. So a big round of applause for them and for the rest of the team that has made this come true. And I would like to um, speak about an anecdote, and I will close with this, about uh, programming. I have a degree in engineering, but before that I went to school. And as many of the, the attendees, I had to, to study Latin language. And I was wondering, but, well, but Latin, I think that I'm not going to be a priest. So I think that the, there's a radio that is broadcasted in Latin language. I think it already exists, but what can I do with Latin? It's a dead language, not a dead language, because if there's a radio, well, it's not dead at all, but, well, in fact, it's the official language in the Vatican. So I couldn't understand that properly, but Latin language had something that helped me structure my head to break down big problems into small problems. So a uh, uh, 21st century Latin language is called programming. So, no matter you don't devote your time to science, Latin language of the first century, that is, 21st century, that is, uh, uh, programming will help you structure your head, break down your problems to tackle th all the challenges on, in a better way. So, STEM challenge is aiming for that. It's aiming to foster different um, scientific and technological uh, vocations, but for the people that do not feel that passion for technology, it's amazing, and I can tell you that, they, you must think that it's an incredible and amazing tool to tackle all kind of challenges. So this is all by my side. Thank you for coming, and I hope you enjoy. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much, Alejandro, for your words. It's a great pleasure. I would like to to add a small nuance to what everything he said. It's not Latin language. It's a basic, a key uh, Latin language. For example, the it will be a difference, the one that speaks English and the one who doesn't, and the one who is possible to program and the one who can't program. This will be a difference in the future. Today we'll start with the first... Uh, a category, Internet of Things. Maybe you're wondering what Internet of Things is. It's the relationship between things and the Internet, how they are connected. And you can say, well, but everything is connected with everything, from project that is, for example, a flower that sells, sends a, a tweet to, to, to tell you that you must water that flower, uh, to a dispenser of uh, food for cats and dogs, for example. It's a great, this category is a great pleasure. We have received 356 projects. And I would, I would like to see the 10 finalists of uh, this category. You can take all in plastic bottles that will 
be uh, they will go to the to the yellow container. When the pet comes to eat, it may, takes a photograph and sends to the email of the owner. And when we've finished eating, we can touch the uh, screen to hide it and start the cleaning process. This antenna has a radio receptor here, and it, this antenna communicates it to the LCD display. This is the humidity sensor. So the bomb is stopped. It's the information about name, surname, class, and code of the person that has wiped the credit card. This box has two LCRs, one that uh, measures the luminosity of the blackboard and the other one of the rest of the classroom. If the noise goes beyond 110 dB, uh, there is a whistle that recommends people uh, to, to lower the intensity. In this case, we haven't used it, so if you can, if you can give a, a high round of applause, that will be good. Okay, so for this category, we have two people here. Uh, the professor, uh, Mr. Jesus Fernandez, and the coordinator of Robotics Week in Spain, Ms. Mercedes Ruiz Casar. A big round of applause, please. <laughs> Have you brought the, the envelope with the award? Oh, don't worry. For the, well, I, I've, I've brought this just in case. Can you? Okay. Can you open it, please? If you want. Oh, that's amazing. Wait. Let's do something. It's, it's even cooler. Let's see if we're right. You have to speak to the mic so that they can hear you. The second... Yeah, Miss... Take it in full. The second award for the Internet of Things it, for El Guardian from uh, School San Cristobal from Castellón. This way, please. That's it. If you, if you can be in a line, please. A big round of applause for them, please. There's no medal for teachers. No, we had to try that. No, there is, there is. This is for the teacher, teacher. This is a, it's a football team. I like that sentence. Please uh, take the trophy. That's the most important thing. If there's no trophy, there's nothing. So you all say cheese and a big round of applause for them, please. Before you leave, I have a couple of questions. Who's going to speak? I'm going to drop it down, and the one who gets... Okay. They have gone a step back. <laughs> you have, did you see that? How's, what's your name? Ruben. Ruben. How did you come across this idea? Well, this... It was uh, uh, Julio's idea. 
Yes, it was Julio's idea. We w we were doing the second uh, um, evaluation time. Uh, we were quite tired, and he proposed us to organize this project. So we said, "Well, why not? Well, come on!" And you're in, from in second uh, course in in the high school. Now we are pre uh, university undergraduate st students now. Julio, do you have anything to say? No, just to, to say thank you to Fundación Telefónica for the chance that they have given to us. And, well, we want Fundación Telefónica to keep this way with the STEM uh, vocation that are really necessary nowadays. Thank you very much. And now, Maria, first award. First award for Internet of the Things. First award is for Ludus Intelligence, uh, Colegio Giovanni Antonio Farina from Azuqueca de Nares, Guadalajara. Echad un pasito más para allá, que hay más luz y así os ven mejor. Que si no los de casa. Don't break it, man. You can make a knot. Da la vuelta, que te oigan ellos, no que te oiga yo. I'm taking this for Paula. Paula, I have this for you, okay? Big kiss for you. Important trophy, Maria. And check and journey. This is the most important part. For the photograph, yeah, it must be very beautiful here. One more time. Yeah, do you have anything to say? Yeah, you, you, you really want to say that. You want to say something. Well, what I want to say is, uh, well, thank you for the jury for choosing us. Uh, David, I already uh, know you. You were my idol. Yeah, th that's the first thing. He's still your idol, isn't it? I hope he has, he has gone a step uh, forward. And I want to thank all the people that have uh, participated. What you don't know is that you are doing a big favor to all the people. This is a dream. This is a dream that you all might come true. And thank you for Fundacion, uh, Telefo thank you uh, to Fundacion Telefonica because this is for a better world. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Jesus, Maria. After these words, you are doing this for the better, for a better world. Well, everything is said. I think I don't know how I'm going to keep on. You, you, you have left it here. So let's move on to the digital education category. These are all the new technologies and applications, tools that give us the possibility through robotics and or programming to improve our learning skills. As of today, we've been uh, incredibly surprised because it's a category that m has more projects. I mean, that is the category that is most interesting. You are interested on learning differently. So, and we've received 452 projects in this STEM uh, challenge. It's absolutely crazy. So. To uh, give these awards, um, I'll, I need two people, but before that, we're going to see the ten finalists of this category. The machine inspired in Perkins machine, that is the one uh, that some people use, and it's uh, quite similar. We have to push the, the pusher, we push it and we'll see a random color. In this case, we can see a white color.
This is a part for for maths. You can choose among the three possibilities. With the luminous city sensor, it detects light, and depending on the light it detects, it will indicate in our display on our display. Congratulations. So uh, these awards will be uh, given by uh, Councillor of Technology of Universidad Complutense, Mr. Luis uh, Hernández, and the Manager of Education Area and Fundación Telefónica, Mr. Alejandro Díaz Larreta. Please. Eso tampoco. No os preocupéis. Tranquilidad. Sí, es, esta categoría, la verdad, es que es un poco complejo. This category is slightly more difficult. So I always have a B plan because it was very difficult to choose the winners. So they are all yours. The second prize in digital education, sustainable classroom, Colegio, uh, school, Colegio Fernández de Martínez de Córdoba de Madrid. So if you make a line there, poneos sonriendo, que se note que os lo pasáis bien, y mirando al público. Gírate, 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 que te vean ahí la cara, estupendo, guapísima. Ahí está, de lujo. Os ponéis para la foto, ponéis con ellos. So, now we are going to take the photo. All together. And a round of applause. So, you are the volunteer. What's your name? Jorge? Okay. Um, I'm Jorge too. Uh, so, congratulations. So, thank you very much. We would like this project to be applied in the classrooms. What's the project uh, about? Uh, because they don't know about the environment. So, it's uh, a respect for the for the environment and uh, it has uh, presence detectors and uh, tens of the lights and they also have light sensors and so uh, sorry presence sensors that turn on the light and so it saves light and the you have a scoreboard where you can see uh, what's the luminosity of the classroom and it turns on or off the lights according to that anything else so let's hope if we can have that implemented. I'm sure that uh, it will soon be there. Our future is in your hands. Telefonica has placed our future in your hands. So it depends on you. It's up to you. You will have to make it. Uh, can we trust you? Okay. You can rest assured. Thank you. Big round of applause for them. So now I have to announce the first prize of this category of uh, digital education. And the first prize is for the uh, high school Calasancio Hispalense of Dos Hermanas Sevilla, a uh, uh, laser ARP. Ay, de lujo. Te gusta que haya chicas. So, you like that there are girls in the group. Vente un pasito más. Ahí está. Un pasito más. Que quedéis ahí en el medio. Perfecto, perfecto, perfecto. De lujo. Poneos vosotros también. You, you two can come uh, to take the photo, Luis. 
And a big round of applause, please. Uh, so it's your turn. You took it from her hand, so the, and that it, it was not up to you. So tell us, Inma. So we have created a laser harp, and what it does is to reproduce uh, notes, and we can uh, play a melody. It's very similar to a uh, keyboard. And the idea came from our teacher, because uh, several uh, people were studying music. And uh, we wanted to invent uh, a, uh, a musical instrument that could be used in the classrooms. OK. OK, fine. Very nice. A big round of applause for them. Thank you very much, Luis and Alejandro. Thank you all. And we now go over to the third category. We go to the local industry category, as uh, known as smart industries. That's the technology that allows us to improve our environment. And in this category, we have also received 356 projects, which are a lot. And are those things that concern us in our environment, how to manage a toxin or measure fishing, or ha know how our environment works. So we will look at the 10 finalists of this category. At electrical level, we can see in the uh, mobile phone uh, scanner that we have four networks. How and your robot, do you prefer to speak in English or in Spanish when the microphone appears? OK, go on. Go up. After the capsule comes back to the Earth, we will be able to analyze the data that have been collected by the rover. This application is going to save time in the supermarket. It has been developed by children between 12 and 15 years of age. Here we have a screen, a display, where we have the real, um, the real uh, temperature and the ideal temperature. Uh, we uh, measure the flow. But before all that, we have someone who is one of the main experts in uh, IT security, one of the hackers in the world. It's a cheated officer of Telefonica, and his name is Chema Alonso. But uh, uh, regretfully, Chema could not be with us here today. He started hacking very young, and he wanted to share that passion, and he has sent us a message. So if we can play the video, we will see him on the screen. Hi, hackers. How are you? My name is Chema Alonso, and I would have been delighted to be there with you, but in the end, I was, it was not possible. Uh, but I have recorded this video, and I wanted to tell you some of my personal experiences in my life. First of all, what I want to uh, do is to congratulate all those people who have taken the courage and the effort to participate, because you are going to change the world. If we look at history, there have been lots of people with great ideas. Many people came up with good ideas. For example, creating a page where you could enter any word and they could locate a document on the internet that was related to, to that. Uh, but only those who did work and took the effort to do that and to make it scalable have changed and transformed the world. You are just doing the same right now and you have to keep up with that spirit, doing things it is not just to think about things, we have to do them. When I was a child, I watched a film that uh, changed my life. It was at Disney. It was called Tron. At that point in time, the main characters of the uh, film were programs that lived within a computer, and they were 
uh, roaming within the processing you need to try to be honorable to their to, to their gods to their programmers the people who had have the capacity and the capability to create them using their brain and using their hands to send instructions to a wonderful machine which is a computer and to create something you are doing something with the new computers which is uh, 3d printers robots or a scratch uh, program in virtual reality and you have ahead of you a whole world of opportunities to change the world that has been given to you so keep on it keep doing it it doesn't matter whether you fail once or twice and since i was 12 i have been meeting with uh, my colleague colleague uh, rodolf uh, um, and doing projects of every kind many of them have failed but many or many others have ended up in programs and things that have helped us in our professional life in the end, so in one of those programs that we created, which was called FOCA, uh, uh, we were before one of the managers of Telefonica who decided to hire us. So at any point in time, it might happen that those things that you have been showing to the world and that you have been doing for fun might change your future. So please do not despair and keep working, and uh, even if uh, things don't work out uh, fine the first time. So that's all. I encourage you to continue working, studying, learning. It doesn't matter how old you are. It's the most beautiful thing that you are going to do in your life. And after today's day, uh, I hope that there is a change in your life and, and you are one of those who will change the world. And if you can do that with us in Telefonica, even better. Thank you. So he's great, isn't he? First of all, I would like to tell you two things. First, thank you. And I say that explicitly so that we, uh, because we could do that, uh, this uh, hashtag has become trending topic in Spain. And the hashtag desafio stem. We are in the seventh position. There are six before us, so you have to take out your mobile phone and, uh, and get your hands to it. So thank you very much to Chema for his words. Uh, he has encouraged you to keep uh, making the effort. Uh, some of you have been given a prize. Some others have had nothing. Some are at home and were not lucky enough, but they at least have learned. And that's the most important aspect. They have had the opportunity to take part. I have had the opportunity to go to many magician's contests in the world, and I have won some and not won uh, some of them. So we always have to keep learning and to keep improving. Uh, but I'm going to continue because otherwise we will um, be delayed. The, we have uh, the, the uh, presentation. We have the 11 Path CEO, uh, a company that was uh, created by Chema Alonso and Pedro Pablo Bro Perez, who is and the co-founder of Arduino, uh, interactive technology uh, professor of the University of Malmo, David Cuartiles. That's you, isn't it? So you are together, the two of you. Oh, we, were, we are surprised. We were not ready for this. We haven't rehearsed anything. Oh, you haven't. Uh, it doesn't matter. I don't, I'm not, I, I, I'm not Pedro Pablo Pérez. My name is Jorge Rivera. Uh, uh, Pedro Pablo has delegated uh, uh, on me to um, attend this uh, uh, this event, uh, but we will make it safe. Yeah, you you also are called Jorge, so that's uh, that's a sufficient guarantee for me. Did you bring the envelope? Oh, it's there, isn't it? Oh, come here. So come here, bring the envelope. Come forward. He is very nervous. You will have to uh, applaud. It's the emotion. He is a little bit scared, more scared than normal. No, he's, he's, uh, he's trying. He's trying. Sometimes things don't work out as you would like to, uh, but it doesn't matter anyway. David, Jorge. David, Jorge. Let's read the first prize first. 
because the second it's in the train and they are not going to make it. If they arrive, fine. Otherwise, we will say, oh, so we go directly to the first mm, price. Come close to. The, we could, could uh, co-present. Uh, if you are not Pedro Pablo, uh, since we are only presenting one, I can inform you that the second word is not right. There is a typo error. Uh, so we. Uh, it doesn't matter. I, I, I'll start. So we have the pleasure to present the first prize in the category of local industry for EV bot, which is a robotic arm that uh, um, f imitates uh, movement from the um, Calasanth School. Ahí está. Could you stand in a line, please? You can hear the back. You are all great because you have made this project possible. So a big round of applause for them. And you too in the photograph, please. What's your name? Clara. Okay, Clara, tell us your arm. Could it um, um, learn to to uh, play ma um, as a magician? Yes, if if a person. Uh, where in it is able to do it, he, the, the arm will do it. Well, our project is um, an arm, a robotic arm that mimics movement and you could put on a structure and it analyzes your movement and the robot Im mimics your movement and that's more or less it. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, you stay here with me. What is important is only to arrive, not to be the first or the second. Those people who are not arriving are, have arrived in the end. So you are also going to present this uh, prize. Okay, I will present the prize and my colleague who is not Pedro Pablo, who is Jorge, We'll make the presentation of uh, who is the winner. Okay, is that fair? We are uh, very much uh, uh, we very much appreciate this opportunity to present the second prize with the uh, to the category of uh, in uh, local industry, and the prize is for um, automats uh, um, learning able automats. Un pasito, a ah, eso es. Pone guapo. Agáchate. Okay, we are now going to take the photo. You can also share and uh, the the trophy there. En este caso el profe quiere hablar. In this case it is going to be the teacher who speaks.
Uh, hi, my name. Uh, my name is Lois. I'm delighted to be here. Uh, your project. Okay, my, uh, our, my, our project is uh, um, learning um, robots. And it, it started as a system that we uh, thought that could be implemented in different types of robots. Uh, uh, um, and it has a camera that can perform certain uh, smart uh, tasks, like detecting faces and the more faces it detects, it, it learns and it um, increases its uh, capacity to forecast or to foresee behaviors. What's it based on? Uh, the eyebrows, uh, 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 ears, or what? Yeah, more or less in, uh, it is based on proportion. Um, OK, could I use it? No, it's not here. I'm sorry. OK, I'll have to go and visit you uh, whenever you want. OK, a round of applause for them. So now, politely, you're over here. Be a big round of applause for them, please. Now we've come to the last category, IG in the category. It's absolutely increasing because of the concerns about uh, health and well-being. Uh, it's very important for people. We are talking about apps to see all the the wearables that uh, we use to measure the uh, heartbeat to see uh, everything that we and we can for example we can uh, measure the percentile of, of the of the babies that are sleeping and they are used to to facilitate people's lives. We have received many projects and we would like you to see the ten finalists. Green color, we have to get to connect here, and then we have to put sensors in the body areas where it's uh, easy to measure the heartbeat and temperature. This calculates the uh, weight, height, and takes an automatic picture of the baby. Uh, on this uh, mobile phone, we have uh, installed our app Control Beats. And you push it, there's a LED that uh, blinks, indicating the, 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 the direction that you're going to take when turning around. In the app, we can regulate the position. We can put it up or put it down. Say something. Hello. Now that it's uh, calibrated, move, move forward, move back, move to one side. We have Nuria Oliver, the scientific director of Telephonic Investiga Investiga uh, Research and Development, and Mike Stone, the responsible of the European Center of Nuclear um, Center. Mike Stone is one of the responsibles, or the responsible, the training responsible of the CERN. So a big round of applause for them, please. My pleasure. The envelope. I brought a special thing. Could you please hold this? Can anybody help me hold this? Yeah, you can. Okay, you can grab it there. So, Nuria, could you read the winner of the second award? These are all the projects that we have. It's a very Difficult decision. I can help you. I can help you out. That's it.
Venidos, can close, perdón. Can here, please? Um, step there, yeah, that's it, perfect. So a big round of applause for them, please. Hey Nuria, you can you can give them the trophy, please. Please come together, come closer, please. Smile, cheese. So the teacher wants to speak, I think. would like to thank all the projects that have participated in this challenge but are not here because they've invested the same effort and uh, everything to create marvelous things that we hope to have in our normal life uh, in a short time. So thank you very much. Your face has been of I want to talk. Okay, so this is just a tribute to the people that take a look after disability, d disabled people, sorry, and especially Laura, Lydia, and Ramon. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. A big round of applause for them. I'm going to explain this. The question, Mike's question is: There are four awards, and I'm going to give just uh, the, the award just to one. The, the awards is just the first prize of every category. Could you please raise your hands, the ones that have already taken the first award? Yeah, though. And now we move on to the first award. Primo, monitor the ritmo, coadatio, e temperatura corporala via Wi-Fi. Congratulations. That's for you. Okay. Then put your hand that way, that's much better, yes. Congratulations. That's perfect, thank you. Say hello to mom, hello. Please come closer. Mike and Nuria smile and look to the ca look at the camera. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Very very good. Before you leave, yeah, you 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 really want to to speak, huh, Carlos? Well, our project uh, is the, the, the heart monitor. Well, we came across that when uh, our technology teacher informed us about this uh, quiz. And as many of us are studying biology, we decided to, to 
developed this uh, uh, device with some sensors to to help people that can need uh, that can need it and through a Wi-Fi network to have the information uh, on a tablet on a PC or whatever this is through a Wi-Fi network so it gave us a possibility of controlling and monitoring different patients so uh, that's the idea thank you thank you all thank you very much so you want to speak no 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 do not leave please I have a teacher here that wants to speak what's your name Segundo Alvarez. I think that uh, STEM Challenge had already uh, awarded us before coming here. I've been teaching for 18 years. I think that I've never had such a good time as this year. Uh, we've enjoyed a lot, as Alejandro has said, with a common feeling that's pleasure for technology. There are teachers that are a, bit, a little bit reluctant to this kind of quizzes. Uh, I've uh, assessed what the STEM challenge has uh, conveyed to me and I think that the positive things are much much more important than negative things so uh, we have nothing to do with Telefonica okay so for, for the sake of clarity thank you very much thank you segundo Now, a big round of applause for Nuria, please, if you want to sit down, you can have a seat, but with a big round of applause. As I've told you, she's the training responsible of CERN. I think it's one of the most uh, important privileges uh, for someone that loves science. It's a dream that comes true. Four of the teams that are here will, have, will make this dream come true. Uh, it's not that the other ones can make this. As Segundo has said, you have had uh, some awards just for participating, and it's a, it's a great honor to for you to think like that. But we would like him to tell you what you are going to enjoy. Huge, 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 huge! Thank you to everybody who's made this possible, especially Fundación Telefónica. Thank you very much. Muchas gracias a Telefónica por hacerlo posible. I'd like to say a big thank you to all the guys who've participated. I've been incredibly impressed with what I've seen this morning. Eh, la verdad me gustaría dar las gracias a todos los chavales que habéis participado y, y realmente me he quedado impresionado con todo lo que he visto. Believe me, you are all winners. Creedme que todos sois ganadores. And in case you didn't get a prize this morning, if you come and see me afterwards, I will be standing there. I have a little souvenir for you of CERN. Y si después venís y me veis allí, os voy a dar un pequeño regalo y un souvenir a todos por haber estado aquí. Now I just like to say. Desde el CERN se la ha traído para pa darlo de regalo, eh. Just like to say a couple of words about some very special people who are in this room and lots of special people who are not in this room. You might have wondered why I've changed my shirt, those of you who saw me this morning. Your sentence is to be shorter. So why did I change my, my shirt? Is not, no, 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 it's not for the translation, it's for my memory. Because I, I cannot remember all you say. And He's I a magician, he has no memory. Properly. No memory, I am... Go. So, I'd like to say something about a very important group of people. Os querría decir algo muy importante de un cierto grupo de personas, unos que han venido y otros que no, que se lo va a decir ahora. And it's related, it's related to my shirt. Que está relacionado con mi camiseta. Okay, this shirt actually, if you come and have a look at it afterwards. Si después venís y veis la camiseta con detalle. Is the diagram. Es un diagrama. The Tim Berners Lee, Sir Tim Berners Lee, put on the front of his project proposal con todo el, el proceso que se utiliza y la propuesta de, de allí, de CERN. It was his project proposal for the World Wide Web in 1989. Ah, fue de un proyecto que era el, la creación de el www Internet, vamos, que cómo se creó y todos los pasos que se siguieron para hacerlo. So he took his project proposal, he handed it to his supervisor. Cogió esta propuesta de Internet y se la pasó a su supervisor. His supervisor took the project proposal, he read it. Cogió la propuesta y la leyó. And he wrote three words y leyó tres palabras. on the top. Tres palabras en, en la parte de arriba. They were not World Wide Web. Y no eran www, World Wide Web. 
I'm going to test your English now. Are you okay? Voy a probar tu inglés ahora. Madre mía, lo que no me va a liar. The words were Bake back at Titan. No me falta que lo traduzca. It's great. Vague but exciting. ¿Habéis visto? Pero feliz. O sea, lo del exciting es lo mejor. Lo del vague no hace falta que lo traduzca, pero lo entendéis todo. Why is that, why is that important? ¿Por qué es importante? Because he didn't say to Tim, Porque your, no le dijo. Your project is not interesting. Porque no le dijo que vuestro proyecto no era importante. It's not technically feasible. Que no se puede hacer técnicamente. You shouldn't be doing it. Que lo debáis hacer. Get on with your real work. Tenéis que hacerlo de verdad. He encouraged him and he gave him space. Les empujó y les dio el espacio que necesitaban. Now who are the guys? Some of them are here today and many of them are not. Muchas de las personas que están aquí y que no están. Who behave just like Tim supervisor. Que se comportan como ese supervisor. They are the teachers. Son los profesores. No worries. So I would like, on behalf of CERN and the whole particle physics community, to say a big, big, big thank you to all the teachers who've helped you, young people, to do your projects. Un fortísimo aplauso a todos los profesores por hacer lo que hacéis estos chavales. Okay, what are you going to do when you come to CERN? ¿Qué es lo que vais a hacer cuando vengáis al CERN? You're going to see some marvelous instruments. You're going to meet cosas increíbles. You're going to meet people from. A hundred different nations. Vais a ver gente de 100 nacionalidades o más. You're going to travel across the border between France and Switzerland several times. Vais a ver cómo se viaja de Francia a Suiza varias veces. Just veces. like the particles do in the big accelerator. Como las partículas del acelerador hacen. And you're going to go a hundred meters below ground. Y vais, madre, ¿en serio? A hundred meters below ground. Okay. Y vais a iros hasta 100 metros bajo el suelo para hacerlo. To see one of the big experiments called CMS and the little present that I've got for those of you who didn't win. Para ver los experimentos que se puede ver. And the little present that I've got for those of you who didn't win. Y lo que sí es me gustaría decir a aquellas personas que no han ganado, que no van a ese viaje. Is the little badge with a photograph of the compact muon solenoid. Y lo que os voy a dar es una pequeña insignia con esa fotografía del. One of the experiments. No me deja traducir todo. That discovered the Higgs boson. So thank you to everybody for inviting me. I've had a fantastic time. Congratulations to you all. Muchísimas gracias por haber estado aquí. Thank you. It's been a real honor to be with you. Thank you. Nuria, ponte con él. Okay, I'll go with you. No te preocupes. Sacamos el móvil y le hacemos un selfie. Don't worry, we'll take the, our cell phone and we'll take a selfie. Oh my gosh. I think that's a great privilege to have the people that we have here. They are people that are changing and have already changed our history in some years. I think that they will be studied in a book. And the ones that are here, you have had the pleasure to see them physically. I want you to put your brain in rec mode and to record all, every and all details that you can see because this will be an, this will be an incredible day in your lives. And without further delay, I would like to, fa to, to thank some of the schools that have made this possible, especially one, because from some challenge we want to support uh, schools and high schools that favor uh, this kind of project. So this is the reason why we're going to give an award uh, to one of the schools that have uh, presented more uh, projects to this uh, challenge. It was the school that has uh, won this award, 
and has presented seven awards and three of them have got to the final so to make this possible I would like to call Mr. Emilio Gilma, Vice President of uh, Fundación Telefónica if you can come to the to lectern please for a big round of applause thank you very much for being here please get the lighter here oh that's marvelous j j just a little interruption we are the third in the, the trending topic is the third is in the third position so the special mention is for school cardenal javier de, Zara uh, de zaragoza Ponéis un pasito más para allá, un pa que quedéis así en el medio, mejor, 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 un pasito más, uno más, uno más, ahí, perfecto. Just there, for the photograph. Foto, sonrisa, y espera. Smile. Ahí, sujetalo. Tenéis que sonreír mucho y tenéis que acercaros. Uno. You have to smile and you have to come a little bit closer. I, uh, my, my name, uh, you already know me, I, uh, yes I do, but they don't, okay, but you are going to know me now. My name is Alejandro, I'm the manager of the um, uh, Cardenal Xavier uh, High School in Zaragoza. It is a pleasure to represent these uh, excellent uh, students and Abraham, who is the teacher, who is the main protagonist. I would like to thank the Telefonica Foundation for their support. Thank you very much and we are delighted with you and with this prize. Yeah, one, one more thing. What is in there, it's a 3D printer. They are going to take with them a 3D printer, a huge 3D printer, but we, they, we are going to give you just a photograph and then we will tell you where you can go and collect it because it's quite big. So a big round of applause for them. From Telefonica Foundation, we like to um, promote vocations since very early ages and that's why we have organized this contest and there are many projects that could win the mention that I'm going to uh, give right now any of those uh, e-guardian um, laser harp or whatever and but this special mention is devoted to some guys that have a passion uh, since I was a child I love uh, fencing and, and I, I, I'm going to try something here. I don't know if I'm going to be possible. This is devoted to them, to their emotion, and to all of you. One, two, and three. Well, I haven't been able to, to take it. I should have taken one of, the, uh, of these, but since I haven't uh, been able to, to uh, grab one of them, but we have them in video. Well, let's play the video uh, and see if it works there. We are the robotics team of the Aldobea School. And this is a very special mention because they are the team, the youngest team that we have had. They are from uh, primary education, the second year of primary education, and they are there, Gonzalo, Ignacio, Aquino, Santi, Jose Maria, Javier, Nacho, come here. Okay, high five. Okay, 
just uh, uh, stand in line please that's it and this is going to be delivered by myself what's your name Gonzalo There, the last one, and you have to um, stand in two lines, one kneeling down. Yeah, they 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 come very, uh, they are very very uh, courageous. You don't need to tell them what to, to do. Y ahora uno de vosotros. And now one of you is going to say something. Me. What's your What's your name, Javier? Javier. Okay. What do you think about the Sapphire stem? It's really cool. From one to ten, a nine and a half. Javier, you and I had said. What score are you going to give it to it? Nine and a half. They don't like it. Would, would you give it a ten next year? I don't know because uh, uh, because next year perhaps I'm not here. And if you were here? Yeah, for, for sure. Okay, so a big round of applause for him. Anything to say? Nothing to say, okay. No, this is your time. You have the opportunity now. Oh, first of all, we would like to thank the parents that are here with us because every day they have been at 8.20. Every day that we needed to organize something, they have come at 8.20 in the morning to um, bring them to school, even uh, uh, earlier than expected. And even if it rained or if it, uh, there was any problem or traffic jams or whatever, they have always been there. And I would also like to thank the Telefonica Foundation for this special mention. Okay, a big round of applause and we go back to our seats. One after the other. This is like a drill. Keep the order. Okay, so now. We have heard all of you saying thanks. We have heard Mick say thanks to the teachers because they are the ones who encourage, who support and help the children. And those who help us at Telefonica to make it. Because if it was not for the families and for the teachers, it, this wouldn't be possible. So thanks to all who are behind all the projects. Because this is a round of applause for you. Without you, it would be impossible. And now we have someone who is very special. He is a, a, a top player. He is a, a crack. And uh, he is very little. He is uh, eight years. But he's going to tell you about two things. One, about his passion, why he creates his own video games, how he programs them, how he likes to do it, and uh, how he has a way to connect to all of the children, because he's also a child. And so, Antonio. A big round of applause for Antonio, Antonio Garcia. They're all yours. Good morning. What projects have we seen here? They are really cool. I am amazed. Guys, uh, and congratulations to all of you, and to uh, the winners and also to the rest of the participants and also to the teachers for the great work. That's working hard. You have been able to create spectacular projects, and I think this is a great experience. You have researched, and you have uh, worked in teams, and you have uh, um, gone a step further at every stage, and that's what should make you more uh, proudest of all. Uh, I have liked m 
most of them. The laser harp was very original. That's one of my favorites. The sustainable classroom, I think that will become a reality in the future. And if you bring those together with the one that studies the other factors that affect the students in the classroom, I think that that should be implemented in all high schools and schools all over the, the country. The e-guardian could be combined with the face recognition one. And so if someone comes home to uh, rob you, um, they will send you a photograph with a photo of the, of the robber, of the thief. And the wheelchair is a very good idea, as well as the one that measures the heart rate. And you can watch the result through the internet because that can be useful for elderly people or people who have some kind of condition. And the uh, movement mimicking arm could be used in scientific experiments with dangerous uh, substances so that science can make progress uh, even better and more um, uh, and faster. You, the adults, have seen it. Are you taking notes? Okay. Beware. Take note of the names because they are going to be the genius of tomorrow. What a what a new player for your team. Better than Cristiano for the Real Madrid and Messi for the Barcelona. It would be excellent to watch the news and to see Antonio new um, incorporation to Winchipinchi, a technological company that will revolutionize the market of telecommunications. So Noelia, young promise expert in mathematics and web developer, signs a million worth contract with Telefonica. That would be amazing. So uh, please take note. With uh, take notes of the names and with uh, um, with ink, not with a pencil. My name is uh, Antonio Garcia Vicente, and I live in Valladolid. And I'm small, but only in terms of height, because I have great ideas, such as the ones that you have just shown us, and that makes me. Uh, uh, overcome the projects and when I am able to overcome a huge project I feel like a giant and that would be great and that would be cool. I'm starting to realize that this is an event for children and we are all uh, great. We are all big, big projects, uh, bigger um, a magician, a big company supporting us, and big ideas, uh, so that everything becomes well known all over the world. And I think this is going to be a big day as well. And now I'm going to tell you how I got into all this uh, technology. At six, I attended a, a scratch day. I didn't know what that was at that time, but my um, parents uh, s signed me on to this uh, um, workshop and they thought that I was going to like it and they, they were right. I loved uh, playing video games as many children but I wanted to know how they were done and I realized that I could have even more fun if I created my own video games with my screens, my displays, my uh, evil villains and my, and my good ones and when when I turned uh, seven, I became a part of the programmer t um, association of Valladolid. And I have great friends and great teachers with whom I share and invent new projects. With tools such as uh, Scratch, APP Inventor, um, Arduino and different sensors and engines, we can experiment, we can research, we can work in teams, we can discuss solutions and we can understand and reason how we want things to be done. There are lots of children that enjoy and share our programs with other children and teachers of all over the world. 
Presently, in the Scratch platform, there are more than 15 million shared projects that we can use either to play, to see how they are built, or just as an idea for our own creations. But keep an eye. As we have seen with the excellent children of the Aldobea School, we can learn um, uh, playing and play learning. As we learn more and more things, uh, uh, as I learned more and more things, I started to become passionate about it, and I started to use it for the, for the school. And so I created, when we were talking about the human body, I created a, 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 a quiz about uh, the human body, and I showed that game and other games to our teachers and to the rest of the students. They loved it. And they, both children and teachers, uh, started to uh, uh, assign me uh, tasks, like, for example, this one that Marga uh, commissioned me to do, so that the small ones could learn by playing. This is the result. I'm going to show you this game that I have created about the solar, uh, uh, the, uh, the solar system planets you have to uh, keep the planets from falling to the sea. This is the sea, and the planets fall, and you have to use your um, head moving, and you have to keep them from falling to the, to the sea. And when you touch them, you see the name of the planet, and you also hear it. But if you don't hit them, you have a uh, failure and, and you uh, hear the sound of water. Okay, you have seen how it works, more or less. It's fun, isn't it? Any child can do that. And thinking that other children are having fun learning the planets with my game makes me feel that what I do is useful for something else than just uh, having fun. And that's excellent, because it also helps others to learn. Pues aún hay más. Well, there is more. Uh, my birthday... Um, and there was a present given to me that it was called Making Makey. I didn't know what it was, but they said that I was going to become a magician with that. And it was a board that I connected to, the, to anything, to the water, to any conducive uh, uh, substance, and turned those things into keyboards for my own creations. So I received the next uh, uh, task to create um, instruments that could sound, made of any material, could sound as any instrument, as any real instrument. So I told my colleague, and we started to work, both of them. The small ones would, do, would uh, build instruments with the teachers and we would connect them so that they could become uh, living instruments uh, by art of magic, so to speak. That was a very interesting challenge, but at the same time it was very difficult because we have to bring very small children to pay attention to us, the, the same as today but the other way around. When we had everything ready, we brought together all the uh, small children and we showed them how the instruments that they had built with their teachers could sound, really sound. They have m had music inside. Jorge, we were competing with you because the small ones were looking at us as if we were magicians ourselves. It was amazing. It was really cool. Así fue corriendo la voz. 
and then by word of mouth everyone knew what we could do with some cables and a computer and more children wanted to join us we told the teacher the, the uh, Miguel Angel the uh, uh, head teacher the principal and we have created an organization with many children where many children can share their uh, projects and have fun with them y esto no and that's not all since our musical project was very successful last year i gave a talk in the ted club uh, of valladolid in order to encourage um, both uh, youngsters and adults to learn programming and to share that with the world. I show them how we could uh, play um, the um, happy birthday with a piano made out of um, made out of buckets. And lastly, we have come to this year. A month ago, I attended the Scratch Day in Valladolid, but this time, in the section of challenges and quizzes, we had to uh, develop a program that could gra graphically represent uh, triangular numbers, I think he said. What's that triangular? numbers what's that but with the examples that we were given i was able to do that and i even got the first award well let's not talk about myself you are the protagonists here and your project so i've seen things that have given me many ideas so boss and girls be prepared because next year we will participate and who knows maybe we can win the second STEM challenge. Oh my gosh. Next year it will be very difficult to, to go over this. You you have done it very good. You have designed and manufactured your own three dimensional objects. As I was telling you adults, are you, can, do you, are you really aware of what these boys and girls can do? You know next, next people that you have to, to, to take into account. By the way, speaking about winners, the other day I saw on the news that the uh, Princess uh, of Asturias award was for Hugh Hem, the biotic man. He said that he lost his life when he was 17. He loved to climb, but uh, he got lost in the mountain. His legs got, uh, were frozen and uh, they had to remove them. He was, using, he was using prothesis, but they were useless for what he wanted because he wanted to climb again so instead of giving up what he did was to create and to research to research and create bionic legs that mimic uh, human uh, movements with them he has been able to climb to jump to walk and he has even climbed as I'm telling you and not only him they have been useful for people to uh, have a normal life again The truth.
truth is that since I saw him, I've always, I haven't stopped thinking about that because technology is not only useful to learn and to play, it's also useful to improve people's lives. Here is where we, children, have a lot to say because we are the future and we have the possibility of learning, researching, etc. to use science and technology in a marvelous way so that next year's uh, can perform important changes in humankind. Well, Disney used to say that if you can dream about that, you can do it. So, boys and girls, technology uh, is useful to play, yes, but it's also useful to become creators of what anything we want. There's no limit, just our, our imagination, and we know that our imagination has no limits. So, challenge accepted. So... Remember, if you want, you can. And once done that, you have to show it to the world and share it on the website because the key point is to show everything we know and the ideas that we have to learn from all and to build things. Everyone should be aware that we children can decide how we want things to be made. So, adults, parents, teachers, companies, bet on us. Teach us everything you're researching on because we are a very important part of society and we are willing to score important goals to science. We have the skills, we have the energy to tackle all the challenges that you propose. We will never give up and the future will be in good hands because we, are, we think that there's nothing impossible. Everything depends on our effort and no matter we are very small, we have many things to teach to the others. Thank you all for your attention and see you soon. Spectacular. Spectacular, man. Everything is saying, well, and now what? You've put the level up to here. It's quite high. And with this, you are closing STEM challenge. This is the first edition. Yes. Okay, so a big round of applause for you. And we hope you're here for the next one. You can have a seat. Can, yes, the wand is for you. You are the ones that makes magic. I'll tell you how to use it. A big round of applause. And it's closing time. So anything you want. Do you want me to keep on? Do you want me to do things to, to make magic? Do you want me to, to, to make magic? Yes? Yeah, a little bit, a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, okay. So, uh, it's something very, very quick. As you said, can you keep this, please? Under, under your butt, please? Yeah, yeah, no, sorry, sit down on it. Yeah, everything's beautiful in you. So, I will throw some newspapers, okay? And if you see that the newspaper... Uh, it's going to hit you. Please do not bend down because otherwise it will hit the pe the person behind you. If you see the newspaper, please get it. One that way, okay? Oh. Okay. Okay, that way. The four ones that have a newspaper, can you stand up, please? And we'll give you a big round of applause. Please come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. 
come out quickly. David, come here. Jorge, hello, nice to meet you. What's your name, Guille? Could you make a step forward? Yep, that's it, because otherwise I, people from home won't be able to see you. I'm Clara. Matias. A step back, please. Tell me a number of a newspaper page. No, it doesn't matter. Uh, 17? Please go page to uh, page 17. If it has a uh, page 17, that's fine. If not, you can go to, to, to any page you want. It doesn't, so you, you can pick pick up the one you want. David, turn the newspaper back. There are people that... Okay, so pick up page 17. That's it. Page 17, please take it. Pick it, pick it up. You just pick it up, page 17. Clara, just page 17. You can pick up the, the, the page you want. And Matthias, you do whatever you can, please. There are just 300 people waiting for you, so take it easy. Between six, 16 and 18, this is, that's it. The one you want, Matthias. We don't care about that. Absolute freedom. You just take one. Okay. So, take that, that page and I want you to open in full. Not to throw it, please. You open it. Today, Matthias, please. This way. Perfect. And you break it in the middle. Two exact halves, please. Up to down. That's it, Clara. What a technique. That's very good. David, well. No, no, no. Do not hide it, please. Have Matthias, please. You can leave that rubber here. You put one half on the other. Please break it. That's it. Put a half on the other one. You turn it 90 degrees and you break two halves again. Symmetric halves, please. That's it. Matthias, that's perfect. Okay, leave it. Can't problem. Uh, no, no problem. One half on the other, you turn it 90 degrees, you break through the middle, that's it. You turn that 90 degrees. Matthias, you are the best, I can tell you. You do it again. Uh, no, 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 you don't put it together. Oh, David, you're always the last one. So, you choose a hand and you make a ball. And you put it on the, on the back, in the back, sorry. You take the... Well, you have to do what we have done four times more. And you make another ball. We have Matthias. The other half is there. You put the ball. Okay, that's fit. Put the ha the ball just with the half of it. What's your degree? Sorry, well, <laughs> you, you, you. so you tear you. Make the ball again, please. Put it here and last time. Tear separation, ball, and here again. It was the last one for Matthias, but well, yeah, you can do it again, please. Do you have some pieces in your hands? Yes, yeah, some pieces? Yes, okay. I want you to put them here. You can put the other one too. 
you can mix them and put them here. If you want to remove any piece, you can do it. Who's laughing there? I'm coming here, so put your hand in. Get a paper. Look at the paper. The rest can be thrown away. What's your name? Manuela. Manuela, look for some words, but do not tell them. I can't see. So give it to your, your colleague. I want to see some words. For example, here, here. Do you have some words that are big? Okay, what's your name? Alicia. Okay, Alicia. Do you have some words? Three or four? How many do you have? Two. Okay, that's fine. How many pages are in one uh, newspaper sheet? How many wor words? No, Matthias, in one sheet? More than 100? And more than 1,000? I don't know. I have, I've never counted that. Count that. Well, I think you're going to count them this afternoon. Well, 100 and 1,000? Okay, 1,000? As, uh, well, for... Th as a, a newspaper sheet has four faces, 4,000, how many sheets does a newspaper have? M quite a few, 40 for example, 4,000 multiplied by 40, 16, 116,000, 60,000, sorry, and as we had four newspapers, Uh, no, in, in binary terms, 2 elevated to 2. 640,000 words. 640,000 words. What was your name? Sorry? Alicia. You have some words in your mind? Think about one. Just one. What's a word? Do you remember any other word? Okay, doesn't mind. Six hundred and forty thousand words, and you chose a word? I think she said happiness. I'm not sure. But it should be it, it would be incredible. Please help me. And one, two, three. That's the word she chose. Wait, 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 wait. Alicia, do you remember any other word? Any other word? Didn't you have a good memory? Didn't you say that you had two or three? Okay, so I won't turn it back. It's blank. So please give your hands. That's it. And okay, a big round of applause for everyone. A big round of applause for them. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, David. Thank you, Clara. It's a big pleasure. So, we have come to the end of this day, of this award, of this challenge. For this, I would like that one of the persons that have made this project come true, um, to, to have you all here, I would like to give a big round of applause to uh, Mr. Emilio Gilolmo, that will be the one that will close the say the vice president of uh, Fundación Telefónica. Well, the truth is that I don't know who has asked me to to close this uh, this session. I want this uh, session to keep on working because it's absolutely amazing. The a bunch of ideas, of uh, emotion, of everything. Well, I think it's it's incredible. The, the the example of many young people doing marvelous things with their imagination and their work. The young Antonio will always support you and, and 
the, the, the ones that you have called adults, so the teachers, the, the, the families, your father, your mother. It has been, your, your um, speech has been spectacular. Uh, I had never, I would have never been able to, to, to make it better. I think that you have conveyed a great emotion. Uh, in the Fundación Telefónica, we are absolutely happy with this challenge. It has been incredible. It has been an idea that has come from many people, and an idea from Telefónica, R&D. It's uh, everyone's idea. And the fact that you have been able to uh, participate, uh, well, just to, to have an idea, we have had 1,040... 458 projects, nearly 400 schools all over Spain, um, 1,860 teachers and more than 5,500 students, the one uh, that have uh, participated. I think that to, to, to as, well, as we are speaking about a first, the first edition of this kind of project, I think it's great figures. We love challenges, I think, that you have fulfilled this uh, um, challenge. Your projects are really powerful and your s capability to develop them is spectacular. And all of them through technology, through the, the cutting edge technology. I hope this quiz to contribute uh, to foster the technological um, capabilities. I'm sure that many of you didn't have these capabilities before starting to work in this challenge show. This is a big proud for us. And that's it. Um, what else can I tell you with your projects? You have shown that it's, that we can make nearly everything. We can innovate in music with technology. And you've built an instrument that we can measure and monitor uh, remotely the uh, heartbeat and with many apps for sport, for uh, health, e-health, etc. We can facilitate people's lives that need a wheelchair. We can design a robot that can take care of uh, an office of a house and uh, uh, warns about the incidents that can happen. You've proven that we can make nearly everything. And that's it. So uh, thank you very much for your ambition to... Um, to make a better world and the goal that we have is to have a better world among everyone. Thank you very much. Uh, yesterday was the last day of the, the uh, of, of, of the course season. This is a very good beginning for the summer so I hope you have you all have a very big a very good summer and thank you very much to all of you. No. You've just given a big round of applause to Emilio's words, but I would like you to give a big round of applause to all the participants, to all the teachers, to all the people that have been involved, that are not members of Telefonica, that make this kind of possibles, this kind of projects possible, to, to have a second edition next year. Thanks for making all these figures real. Thanks for making these projects growth, for these projects to, to, to be accomplished. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts to make such a special day because we hope to we hope it has been useful for you and thanks to all the jury for making it possible and especially to all of you because we expect to see you on the second edition. Thank you very much.